That's not supposed to. I know what's wrong with it. Ain't got no gas in it. Guys, what is up? Back again with another video. Today we're doing a little bit something different. I got a machine tore down in my garage. Lots of stuff going on with that. But today's video is not focused on that. Today's video is focused on unboxing some parts that I've got from some people out in the industry. Uh, some of them being RPM, some of them being LME TV. We got some products from a company called Morimoto. They're based in Atlanta. We got a product here that is made by a company I think that's Canadian for the Can-Am and as well some other products from the Big Rock Candy Mountain of China. Um, but it's a very interesting product that I want to show to you guys on video and ask you guys if you would like me to review this. So we're going to go over all these products in detail, kind of just unbox them on camera and then show them off uh, just to see some of the details in the products because uh, some of these things has some really cool packaging. So let's get to it. Short video for you guys on a Sunday, but like we said, uh, let's get to it. All right, guys, we got a mess on the bench. These products here are supposed to go on the Razer 200. I just haven't had the chance to do that. No excuses. Uh, we got this product here from uh, Duplicator. That is the name of the company. Um, and I believe they're Canadian. I'm not too sure. Kind of makes sense. Some of the writing on here is French. Uh, but what this is, is a product that is made for all BRP products like c dews Can-Ams, and I believe the Can-Am off-road vehicles. And it's a replacement key. So this is really cool because uh, the keys that you get from the dealer sometimes can be a little bit expensive. Sometimes there's programming involved and that's a little expensive. And this simplifies everything by using an app on your phone. And I'll show you guys that right now. So I'll be leaving a link to this product in the description so you guys can check out the price. It appears to be like a 3D printed material. Uh, which uh, is pretty thick in many places, so I don't think you have issues as far as um, you know reliability. But this is definitely a good spare to have. I know since 2021 and maybe 2020, uh, the Can-Am X3s have only been coming with one key, which sucks. So a second key to have as backup is going to be just a lifesaver in many situations. So uh, we have this app here. It's called the Duplicator app. It's super simple to use. It's a really simple app. It's pretty much got scan key, and then you pretty much grab your key. This is my Can Am X3 key, and you put it to your NFC chip, and it says tap and hold key logo to the phone, slowly move key back down the phone until it's detected. Now I might have this case, and that's probably why it's not working, but... Idiot. Let's try it again. Scan key. And there. Uh, it gives me a found key, extracted data. You can save the key, and then enter your email address. When you enter your email address, uh, it's gonna send an email to the maker of the app, the maker of these products, and then they'll send you an invoice, you pay the invoice, and they'll send you a new key that's pretty much a duplicate of your key. Except for it looks a little funky, but still pretty cool. He sent me this and I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, it's a good product and um, we'll go make sure this starts my car. As you can see, I just opened it on camera. All right, does this work and uh, is it gonna turn on my car? So my car's covered up because I have customer cars inside my garage. We'll open up the door here, remove the steering wheel for theft. But here it is, should start the car. Um, and if it does, I'm gonna say this is a go. So this pops in just like that. The only thing I will say is kind of hard to grab. Eh, it's not that bad actually. But then start my car. And it works! So, pretty cool product. Um, what can I say? It works. If you guys need a spare key, definitely hit up the duplicator. Uh, I'll leave a link down below where you can download the application. So, I think that's really all you need. Oh man. Ow. Ow. <laughs> right, we're gonna go ahead and unbox what we have in these boxes. This is for uh, the new Pro R. Not my Pro R, but a Pro R of a friend of mine's. Uh, these are products for him. These are just released. They're uh, the toe link and the radius rods. Let's check them out. All right, these are gonna be heavy dogs. Ow, I almost cut myself. So I'm only gonna pull out two because you know, two for each side, pretty much the same thing, but. Fucking heavy duty. Alright, so we've seen radius rods a ton of times on the X3. 
but uh, these are for the Pro R, so I'm expecting some bigger hardware. And sure enough, we got three quarter Himes instead of the traditional 5.8 that's seen on pretty much all the other radius rods out there. Uh, pretty chunky. I'm excited to install these. I'm not sure if I'm going to, but I might be the one installing these. We'll see in a future video, but definitely um, beefy as all hell. You can see how big and beefy they are. Now, the stock radius rods aren't horrible on the Pro R, but after talking to some of the guys, Doug from TMW, we kind of we looked at them closely and they're not the thickest wall. So the tube size is big, but the wall thickness is very, very slim. And uh, these are gonna be a lot better. I mean, solid 6061 aluminum. You can see the uh, design he has on the front here where the uh, Heim actually enters. You can see this extra portion of meat to make sure that's uh, plenty of meat around the, um, the threads of the Heim joint, but definitely very nice these are anodized black i like the anodized black ones uh when they first started anodizing the parts over lme tv they were coming out bluish but this is a lot blacker this is a more true black this guy is a chunky monkey for sure what is this right here someone scratched it but this guy's pretty thick you can tell on the back side check that out so this is the front and this is the back where you actually see the design uh, pretty much like all their other radius rods, but you can see the thickness of this bad boy on my hand I don't got the biggest hands in the world, but I mean, you can tell they're pretty thick. So uh, Heavy-duty parts for the Pro R very nice. I wish I had my own Pro R, but I do not so Still cool We'll go ahead and put this back in the box and check out the other part for the Pro R. All right, these are gonna be long sons of guns Woo! Super long that's what she said. <laughs> These are the new toe links or toe rods for the Pro R. Very big, very long, I should say. Three quarter himes in the front. Got the stitching there, or not the stitching, but the uh, laser, not the laser engraving, the engraving, the CNC engraving. And then right here we have the laser engraving etching of course made in the usa most of the products you see on the website are made in the usa if they're not made in the usa they're designed in the usa by usa companies so uh good stuff and here we have the clevis that is going to replace that um adjustable bolt that just is the toe on these you no longer adjust the bolt it's a regular bolt and pretty much you adjust the length of the tie rod because it's threaded on both sides kind of like a regular you know radius rod and tie rod and so this toe rod uh a lot heavier duty and i'm assuming this is going to be you know way stronger than what the factory one is i know the boys at shock therapy were saying that the uh adjustable bowl was coming loose so it's changing the toe a little bit uh overall it's still a good system i would say that you're probably not gonna have a ton of issues with the new pro r it's a good machine but this is definitely an upgrade um obviously as you can see so we'll put that back in the box i'm sure it's the same on both sides and yeah we'll move on to uh the lighting that we got let there be light All right, here on the bench, we have a new product this company came out with. They're trying to get themselves into the off-road industry. They make a lot of uh, kits, like fog light kits for, you know, pickup trucks and stuff like that. So Toyota Tacoma, several autos, you know, Raptors, F-150s, whatever. Um, they are trying to get a little bit of space in the UTV market, and that's what they told me. They're based out of Atlanta, so this is a US company, and uh, I'm sure the products are made overseas. So they were kind enough to send me not only the lights, but a bunch of other accessories to the lights, because I'm assuming it doesn't come with it. Um, here we have the brackets that are gonna hold the lights in place. Very similar to any other light bracket you've seen in the future, in the future, <laughs> in the past. Damn, I'm tripping. It's actually really early today. I'm actually leaving very uh, early. 6 30 in the morning right now um, i'm leaving to go somewhere to do some stuff anyways um it comes with some covers we'll go over those in a second because uh i want to show you guys the lights first and before we show you the lights they did send me a wiring harness so i'll check that out real quick um very high quality wiring harness that was my first um impressions when i saw this stuff high quality water resistant relay it's got a weather pack seal in here let me confirm but i've seen these kind of relays before well, you can see it right there. I don't want to take it off, but um, you know, goes to power and ground, high quality connections, heat shrink. So these are really, really nice. So um, I'm assuming the lights are just gonna be just as quality. But initial thoughts, just on looking at this, this is really good stuff. Um, and then check it out because most of this stuff is gonna be for like vehicles. Uh, they have a uh, 
you know water resistant plug here so if you drill a hole in your firewall you could run the plug and then the actual switch is a decent switch it's a flush switch so you can make it on and off flush into a dash uh, panel somewhere so really clean um, I'm considering selling their parts so if you guys are liking these lights um, and maybe we'll wait a little bit I'd like to see them you know branch out into more stuff for the off-road industry for the UTV industry because I don't want to just be selling you know a bunch of products that are not related to UTVs but high quality switch man I gotta say so um, and then over here we have the two connections that we're gonna need for the lights um, they also give you an extension again they think of everything but let's move on to the lights because I want to show you the amazing packaging when I opened this up I said holy crap so we have Vincent we happy yeah we happy I was already impressed by the wiring harness, uh, the fact that they gave me other accessories, like these covers, and that'll show you the shape of the light already. Um, that's pretty much uh, pretty cool. It's molded with their logo. And check this out. Is that not cool? This reminds me when I was freaking seven years old reading pop-up books. I think seven, maybe five. <laughs> but check that out, man. That is so dope. So obviously they cater to the off-road community, but more in the Overlander style, the you know the forerunners the tacomas but still so we'll take these out of the box these i believe just flip up and there you have the presentation of the lights these are in amber i requested them that way you guys already know amber is king in my book and i only run amber lights if i have a white light bar it's just for looks or because you know i can't cut off the mounts on my stock cage but the foam padding in here for the packaging again and uh there's nothing really else in these box it's really just the lights but what a packaging to introduce these lights so um if the packaging is this quality if the wiring is this, is this quality these also have to be high quality as well and they look at the the um the lens here in the front very nice very clean um i'm very impressed and then again the heat shrink the nylon braid the dutch style connectors uh very high quality so we might install these on a future video our buddy alfred got a new can mx3 and we're gonna might throw them on his car um but like i said these are the business they're, they're badass I'm, I'm really liking them so um as long as the lighting output is good and then we're good at night i will recommend these lights to you guys as a great product now i sell baja designs on the website but there's a lot of great products out there heretic studios is one rigid lighting casey highlights um what's that other one that i really like as well oh dial dynamics very similar high quality lenses high quality lights um so a lot of good products out there uh so i, I like showing you guys off uh, you know different options so i'm definitely gonna say these are gonna go as long as the lighting is on par but they're saying it is so what can i say so i'll put these back in the box and we'll move on to um the rpm box all right this is gonna be a big box oh shit. <laughs> all right as you can see been sitting in my garage for quite some time let me go uh, i don't want to say zoom out but i'll move this back a little bit this thing's been sitting in my box for quite some time and uh yeah i mean it's uh it's been an unreleased muffler until yesterday so it's now on the website if you guys want to check this out it just got released earlier this week um i just did a video on a rpm muffler i don't want to do one back to back or anytime soon this is gonna go on probably one of my buddy's machines but it's very loud so i gotta find a buddy that has no family because um i'm assuming it's gonna be loud i really don't know but the sport muffler generally has been very loud and this is a bigger badder brother of that system and like I said earlier, there's a, another product in this box that is unreleased and hopefully RPM doesn't get mad at me, but I asked them and they didn't say anything. They didn't say no. So no, no is a yes. So let's see if I can get this open without jacking anything up. I'm excited. These guys send me goodies and uh, I don't even ask for them, but. And there it is, dude. Let me move all this crap. Sheesh. This is um, just released to the market another sport muffler now what's the difference in this big giant guy it is three inches so this is a big dog this is for you big turbo guys this is for you guys that gotta have the biggest exhaust out of all your buddies um three inch uh heavy duty as you guys know the stainless steel the quality welds um it's a very large oh man i moved the camera sorry about that 
it's a very large product so um, i'm excited because uh these guys make good stuff and uh one of my buddies is gonna get a nice exhaust but um it's actually two piece it comes with the uh, muffler itself and the cat delete uh both of them three inch like i said there is no cone down it's actually three inch and using v-band clamp so it doesn't use the traditional style of clamping like the um you know the spring system on the stock exhaust so um consider a three inch only if you plan to get rid of a lot of stuff so if you're doing a bed delete um and you're, re you're removing all the exhaust heat shields because if you're not and you need the exhaust heat shields uh it's going to be kind of a pain this might rub some spots here and there and actually let me pull out another product that goes with it this is a new product that they released um this is a quiet core so this is supposed to quiet down the exhaust um and this is going to go something like that Obviously, I think you gotta drill a hole. I'm not sure here, but pretty, uh, pretty cool. <clears throat> and you guys already know if you guys want to get a discount on the RPM products on the LMU TV products, use my discount G Life 5 on my website glifeutv.com. And uh, yeah, save yourself some money. And here's the rest here's the CAD delete. So, traditional V band in the front to hook up to the turbo, and another V band at the front to connect to the muffler. So, if you have this complete setup, you're set. Uh, they don't sell this separately, so you can't mix and match this with one of their other mufflers because it won't work because of the V band clamp style here that connects to the muffler. So, just keep that in mind. Two bunks for uh, you guys that want to run an O2 sensor and a, a wide band sensor, uh, RPM logo welded on there. So, good stuff stainless steel you guys already know so good products from rpm all right let me take a look at these real quick let me take a peek oh yeah that's the one right there oh there's two of them there's two of them dude hook me up hell yeah so uh, this is a new product from the boys over at rpm um unreleased this is top secret you're not supposed to be looking at this and if you do do not mention it to the guys at rpm until it's released because if you do they're gonna yell at me so um here we have this we've seen before and all this stuff we've seen before this is a new blowout valve check this out check that out with the rpm logo on it now so why did they come out with a new blowout valve well, just to improve on the quality of the old one. And I have the old one. I'll show you guys that in just a second. But, man, this is uh, a lot nicer than the old one. Just based off the way that they uh, machine the logo in there. Or however this is made. I don't know if it's a machine or what. You know, I have no idea when it comes to manufacturing. But one thing I do notice right off the bat. Uh, this is not adjustable. You can't move it. Which is fine. But what, a lot of times what happens is the... Uh, the nipple for the vacuum is in the wrong spot point the wrong way and now you don't have to worry about that because it adjusts 360 degrees so that's really cool um we'll unscrew this guy just look at it inside real quick so like i said high quality very nice i like how they did the, the knurling on the cap here so when you do want to service it uh which shouldn't be a lot of times these things don't kind of they don't fail very often but there's the piston and already has some grease on it which i like to see if you guys ever install one of these blow valves and uh it's not blowing off uh sometimes there's a lack of grease if you take it out and just put a little bit not a lot just a little bit of grease from like uh you know what regular wheel bearing grease will work and then reinstall it uh it should fix your issue but very nice very high quality i really like this one so i'll pull out the other one the old one to show you guys that and i wonder why you gave me two let me just double check here so there's a second one yeah same thing but yeah really nice dude i'm happy to see them come out with one that has a, uh, you know a lot more custom touch to it with the rpm logo on there let me pull out the old one so you guys can check it there check that out there they are actually very similar shape not much to it the cap's a little bit wider but the body is pretty much the same size um and before as you can see it was just a etched version of their logo now it's uh like i said you know actually cut into the metal and the biggest difference i'm going to say is the knurling on the cap and this um this 360 degree adjustable chingasso which is nice because a lot of times this was kind of stick out especially on the x3s it was just kind of pushed towards the exhaust um 
not that there's anything wrong with it this thing has been one of the most reliable blow off valves on the market um these things that get put through how and they still they still work great so we have this on the mean machine and um, i have it on my machine uh, but i'm gonna switch it to this one uh, really nice and uh as you can tell you know it's just a little bit of an upgrade uh definitely a little bit heavier uh maybe they're the same maybe if anything just a little bit maybe because of this piece and that's really it um, but looks higher quality in my opinion and uh, i'm definitely happy with the change i'm seeing so hopefully uh we'll get a test on this real soon to give you guys an idea if uh if it sounds any different i doubt it i mean it's gonna do the same exact job but the whole point is uh, a lot nicer looks a lot higher quality so definitely happy to see that change we'll move on to another product that we got straight from the kenny rock mountain of china i like china i sell apartment for 10 i just sold an apartment for 15 million dollars to somebody from china all right guys so this is a very interesting product and there's two pieces to it uh we're gonna unbox it here on video and uh, we'll show you guys what it is and why i find it very interesting uh we do have this ox beam that they sent us a while back um this product um you know it's a cheaper version of another product we recommend to you guys a lot which is the switch pros now the ox beam it's a lot more affordable it doesn't have the same features but it does the job and uh for the most part it's been reliable and i've told a lot of guys if you guys want to save the money okay well just know it's not the same quality as the switch pros but it'll get the job done and it'll power a lot of your lights so ox beam is overseas um and they make the products overseas it's a great product it's it's fine now not all products from china are crap and we're gonna show you another one here that potentially isn't crap so um i'm very excited because i'm a kind of a technology nerd i like all the switching the wiring that's kind of my thing i get i nerd out over that kind of stuff and uh this is gonna be no different because um it seems to be a high quality product now from what i see on the work with their website it's pretty expensive um which could be a good or a bad thing so this is the legend it's a dual channel digital rear view camera and it also controls a power distribution module that's why i was talking about the ox beam and the switch pros um, um very cool now i'm gonna unbox this here we're obviously not installing it today but if you guys want to see an install video on this product i want you guys to comment down below because it seems to be a very cool product so far just by the pictures that i've seen and the one video i saw so there's not much information on this but they got all the fancy logos on there the full hd 1080 60 frames per second patent pending you can download your apps from google or the app store or for apple um yeah so this is made by acumen it's called the legend and we got some foam here we got the mirror and um they specifically said this is for the off-road guys it's not specifically for you know just a pickup truck or anything like that uh, got a ton of wires uh, saying that off the bat because wow there's a lot but um you got obviously a uh, nice nice mirror i would say this is a good 10 11 inches i would say closer to 11 maybe 12 um and let's peel this off real quick so that is very nice hey you can see yourself check that out so uh well i should probably read this before but it's touch screen you slide up and down to adjust the camera angle you stick your sd card here at the bottom there's a power button um you can swipe left and right for switch camera views which is pretty cool uh over on the back side here you have you know your rear camera there's signals for the gps system um there's signals for the power cable obviously and the acumen box so what the box is is that power distribution module and we'll open that up in just a second but you can see the wide angle front view camera uh supposedly let me go back to the box here and i don't know if this bs or not but where is it at there's a sony logo on here so i don't know if sony uh has any input on the camera maybe i don't know so sand and waterproof gps logger integrated switch control starlight technology dual channel um I don't know, a bunch of stuff 12 inch screen it says 12 inch i was wrong wi-fi direct so i believe there's no cables between this and i believe the rear view camera uh but let's uh unbox the rest of it uh looks like we have some some sort of usb drive here I'm not sure what that is for it says micro sd maybe uh you can uh, update the firmware or something on this thing so We got obviously a bunch of connections and actually the camera isn't wireless in the rear i lied but there's your camera so that's going to connect to the yellow cable so it looks like everything's pretty easy to connect but 
we'll do that in another video if you guys want more cabling more cabling uh, more cabling and then right here we have the bracket so it's kind of a universal bracket it's a universal bracket that's gonna go on a row two clamp style uh, looks like it's got some adjustment here but pretty cool I'm assuming that's gonna fit over the other machines if not it looks like it comes with another bolt to make this longer so definitely a uh, pretty nice hopefully this clamp system works uh, we sell the chupacabra off-road mirrors on the website and I think they came out with one of the best clamp designs uh, so that's why I start supporting their products more not just the not just the side mirrors but the rear view mirrors as well but um I'm not sure about that clamp system, but hopefully it works out. But this seems to be high quality. It's, uh, you know, ABS plastic. Um, seems to be uh, pretty decent. I mean, there's a lot of cableage, which kind of sucks sometimes running through a cage or running around a cage and zip tying around. But, you know, it is what it is. So, seems like a cool product. Um, How does that tie into this uh, box here? I have no clue yet, but from what I've seen, um, this camera or this uh, mirror becomes touchscreen and pretty much eight switches pop up here and I'll show you a picture right here and you can select the lights that you want to turn on and off and this is pretty much the uh, main guy turning on and off that uh, system so so very similar to um, you know a power distribution box from switch pros or from Oxbeam, where you you know have a bunch of connections and uh, you have your power source here so i'm seeing that this is literally a dlc connector which is really really odd so not sure what that's about but <laughs> um you got more cableage here i'm assuming to connect the camera to this something's got to be wi-fi though it's saying it's wi-fi we've got an antenna here maybe this is wi-fi to that i have no clue honestly uh, but you do get the power box and you get do get this guy so very weird dude honestly this is interesting and it does clip in pretty good but it does pop off so make sure when you install one of these you want to make sure this is somewhere secure but especially for off-road but pretty cool i gotta say they even give you electrical tape in the box wow that's amazing pretty cool but pretty expensive i'll leave a link to this product uh buyer beware um i haven't reviewed this i haven't tried it i don't know how good it is uh definitely something you guys got to take into account i don't want to get blamed if it sucks pretty impressive honestly seems pretty cool so if it works, I like it. And I think that's it. I don't got nothing else. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like. Comment down below if you want to see some of these products installed in a future video. And as always, guys, stay dirty. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.